The project I've been working on is a modular robotic system that works in water. So that is a robot that is composed of individual modules that can be reconfigured in, in shape you know, to perform different tasks. Each module of the robot has four micro pumps which allow it to move around in the water and as the modules are connected together into different configurations the entire robot can, uh, can move around in the water depending on the, the configuration of the robot. My work mainly focuses on the mechanical structure design and uh, electronics design and then I combine them together and uh, uh, perfect it by several uh, experiments. One particular uh, use case of this of a robot like this is for search and rescue operations. In an unknown environment, you're not sure what the exact situation will be like, and so you want the ability for the robot to be able to configure on the fly to adapt to, to whatever challenge it faces. For example, maybe individual modules will need to split up to search for, uh, for survivors or for target locations more quickly, or maybe they need to be configured into a single, uh, single object to lift to lift debris or to open passageways. The University of Sheffield has the only department uh, in the UK and one of the best departments in the world research on advanced control and system engineering. It let me know uh, how to make the theory of the control system or the system engineering uh, into the real world. I've been interested in science and engineering in general for quite a lot of my life, working in ACT in particular. It's really helped me to work on my own, to perform projects on my own, uh, to do individual research or to uh, attend to outreach events that I wouldn't get the opportunity to do otherwise. And this has really you know, sort of broadened my career aspects and when I finished there are several options available to me. I could go further in academia, I could, I could go into do research and perhaps continue with a project like this or I could uh, go in into industry. It not only could be applied in the robotics or industry uh, system, it also could be used in the medicine system or the transport system or even the space uh, engineering.